Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. Now moving on to a little bit of a funnier one right now. Now this is going to be a funny example, don't get me wrong, but this is actually an extremely practical uh, thing that you should know how to do within Premiere Pro. And it's actually the way that you guys obviously see that lower third that comes up introducing my name. And that right there is a solo file that I just drag in every time and it it obviously has a transparent background and it just shows that graphic down there. So quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to actually render with a transparent back background and what a better way to, uh, what a better example to use than this right here where we actually showed you how to track those frames and this has actually created a mask solely around my head, which is honestly a really funny mask. This is, this is hilarious to be honest. It's just my face kind of waddling around the screen. And basically I'm going to show you how we can actually export this so that it's not part of this black background. And all of this is transparent here. So we could actually import this potentially, um, into a shot like this and actually just have a few of my heads floating around, but the background would be transparent. So if we go up here, um, to to file, to file, export, media, or if we click over here and just press control M for our project settings and our render settings and export settings to actually pop up, we can actually go ahead up to here to format. And format is where I want to direct your attention to because we want to switch that H.264 slash MP4 to QuickTime. And the reason I say that is because QuickTime is going to give us some very cool codec options down here, which we do not have available to us in H.264, aka MP4. So I want you to select QuickTime and go here to video codec. Now when you go to video codec, you could click that drop down and we actually want to look for animation. Now it's going to be at the top. For me, it should be at the top for you as well. And let's just go ahead and switch that to animation. And once we've changed that to animation, we have the ability to come down here and change the depth from 8-BPC to 8-BPC plus alpha. And that is including the alpha channel in the background. So this won't just register as a black image. It will register as a uh, transparent background. And then we can simply go over to here to change this to 1920 by 1080 because uh, the default animation is, is those weird dimensions that they put right there. But if we change that back to 1920 by 1080 and we actually just go ahead and give this a play and a render here, we could render this as uh, tran as transparent. Okay, so we render that as transparent and we just go ahead and click export. And if we click export, Okay, this is actually going to put this as a transparent PNG type of thing right here, QuickTime movie. And if we go ahead and just go back here to this particular shot right here and just drag this transparent shot in, it will actually appear as a transparent face, as you can see right there. And we could actually go ahead and just pop that up here even just duplicate that just, just for comedy's sake right now for you guys. These are just three of my faces which are now transparent <laughs> and they are on the screen with with me while it's zooming into my face. And that is how you would actually go about rendering a transparent background within Premiere Pro. This is obviously the original and then it's rendered as a funny, funny example like this where we could have a few of my heads even around me. And that's just a general example. Remember, this is the process that I use to actually create my lower third. So I'll show that on screen right now. There's endless ways you could actually go about using this very, very cool method. And um, overall, I think it is a lot of fun and uh, that is the process behind rendering a transparent background um, aka a animation or a alpha channel. Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff 
available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And um, you know what I mean? Essentially, we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist, working our way up to the most advanced stuff. Obviously, I've already created the entire course. It's over seven plus hours. It is also available on Udemy. Um, and uh, basically, I'm just uh, taking my turn, uh, taking my time to upload this content here, keep on putting it into this playlist. And then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program. Then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist and basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because, uh, you know what I mean, I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into to creating content about you know subjects he didn't actually know about, uh, etc. So I was hired to create this whole project. We worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy, but for me to actually just give away to you guys. Obviously, I could have sold this thing if I wanted to. I decided I didn't want to actually uh, you know try actually just get like a you know five dollars a pop for it, ten dollars a pop for it, whatever uh, you know what I mean. Whatever price I set it as, instead I thought there was much more value just in actually giving. The whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now going to leave the trailer that actually went on to uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed. If you're even still watching at this point, by all means, I'm sure a bunch of you are. Uh, enjoy the trailer, but the trailer is basically gonna tell you everything I, I just told you now. Go over, check out the playlist in the description, the complete Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course of 2018. Here we go. Really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production, and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course, and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course 
ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section nine, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of gonna be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall how letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it. And with that being said, let's do it.